Welcome to Electron Line. Just like there are alkyls that sometimes are attached to strings of carbon molecules, uh, hydrocarbons, we also have what we call functional groups, which do not contain necessarily carbon and hydrogen, although sometimes they do have some hydrogen in them, um, that can be connected to some of the hydrocarbons to form different kind of molecules. Now they do change the molecule to some extent, then they do give them different properties. So that's part of the reason why the name is functional group. It gives a function to that group, or it gives a function to the molecule by changing it into something different. Some of the more common functional groups are NH2, which is called amino, the fluorine atom, which is called fluoro when it's connected to the hydrocarbon, a chlorine atom, which is called chloro, a bromine atom, which is called bromo, an iodine atom, which is called iodo, and NO2, when it's connected to a hydrocarbon, it's called nitro, kind of like nitroglycerin, for example, is an example where we have a functional group added to other molecules. And then we have something called vinyl, and of course, that's a term that most of us are familiar with. It's a type of plastic, of course. And uh, so here you can see that the functional group is a CH and then a double bond with CH2. Then we also have the benzene ring attached to a hydrocarbon, and that is then called a phenyl. Some examples of how we would give a name to a molecule that has one of those functional groups. Here we have the functional group nitro, and it, since it's connected to the second carbon, we call it 2-nitro. And since it's connected to a, car a carbon chain of four carbons, of course, then we call it butane. So 2-nitrobutane is the name of this particular molecule with this functional group. Here we have two functional groups. We have bromo and nitro. Bromo is connected to the first carbon, and nitro is connected to the third carbon. So we can say, call this 1-bromo, 3-nitro, and since it's connected to a chain of four carbons, we call it butane. So 1-bromo, 3-nitrobutane. We'll see lots more examples of these kind of combinations where we have to name molecules that contain these functional groups. But at least now you're familiar with some of the more common ones that we'll see quite a bit in the videos to come.